Now, first and foremost, I thought Arsenal were terrific. Um, I, f- I thought they were far superior to Chelsea all over the pitch. They dominated possession from the first minute. They they played the game at their pace. I thought in William Saliba and Gabriel, they've got a, a centre-back partnership now that I think you have to start talking up there as being one of the best in the league. Saka, for me, is probably the England starter who is in the best form right now. Martinelli, busy again. Gabriel Jesus, nine games without a goal. But he brings so much more uh, to his play than just putting the ball in the back of the net. And Chelsea was shocking, weren't they? I mean, were you surprised how poor Chelsea were? Not really. No, they they obviously got the new manager in. Graham Potter had a, a manager bounce, as you, as it's also known. We've seen that recently. Uh, so they done well the first few games. Obviously, the last few games not so much. And today they were poor. It's not so much how Chelsea were today. It was Arsenal and. I need to say this, and it's hard, obviously, being a Spurs supporter. It has to be said, Anton, and I think you'll agree. We need to start saying now that Arsenal are in a title challenge. We cannot deny it. We cannot say, well, let's see. Let's see after the World Cup. Let's see in February. Let's see after the nine games they have had recently coming up. Let's see how they can do with Europe, European games as well. The league doesn't lie at the moment. They sit top of the league. They've got Wolves coming up. If they beat Wolves... I know it's ifs and buts, but if they beat Wolves, it's looking very likely. They go into the World Cup top of the Premier League. They are in a title challenge as we speak. I have to agree. And and for the way that Arsenal fans are talking at the moment, you know, especially my WhatsApp groups, they're popping off at the moment. <laughs> you know, Arsenal fans going crazy. You need to start saying it with your chest. Mm. We're in a title race. We're in a title. We're battling for the title, you know, and, and going away to Stamford Bridge and winning the way that they did today. They have to start saying it with their chest from now. I don't want to keep hearing, yeah, we're, 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 we're flying, we're doing this and we're doing that. Arteta in, fantastic. But if we finish in the top two, we'll be happy. No, 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 no. Start saying the way that all the Arsenal fans are starting to banter people off and say we're doing this and we're doing that. The only thing they're missing is them saying we are in a title race. Yep. It's about time you started saying it and yep. say it with your chest. They're underplaying it, Crookie. I think the manager underplays it. The manager just goes into games... And look, rightly so. He's trying to keep yeah. the pressure off his players. Of course. But it's about time. No, you're in a title challenge. And look, it's not... I'm not saying because people love to say, is it failure if they don't? It's not failure if they don't. They're playing one of the best teams in Europe, if not in one of the best teams in Premier League history in terms of Manchester City. But you are two points clear in the Premier League. You're flying. You're only lost one game this season to Manchester United, of course, where you didn't play that well. But you are in a title challenge and start... Like you said, hold your chest high. I'm a Spurs supporter. It's difficult for me to say. Hold your chest high and say, yes, we're fighting Manchester City for this Premier League. 